there is no direct proof that HIV causes AIDS. There is none. There is proof that HIV exists and is transmitted through the blood, through sex, through needles. It's, a, it's an infectious disease, HIV. They also believe that, I believe that HIV is a passenger virus that's just been around, isn't causing AIDS. AIDS, immune deficiency syndrome, has 39% of its diseases that are caused by it are not related to the immune deficient, to an immune system. Wasting disease is one. It's just generalized. I don't, I, I haven't looked up wasting disease, but by the name, I assume it's just generalized wasting away of the body, and they call that AIDS-related. But it has nothing to do with the immune deficiency. As it, as you waste, your immune deficiency comes down with it. But the wasting disease is something different, which they put under the AIDS category. Twenty percent of all AIDS patients are diagnosed with it or were at one point, based off the information that I saw. In this video, HIV equals AIDS equals fact or fraud. It's the trailer. I'll put it up on the side. Uh, taking it back, th this video, uh, they, they know that AIDS exists, but that I, I believe that it comes on from drug use or depending on how you're treated. If you, if you think a baby, of course if a baby is born with HIV and you know that and you believe that HIV causes AIDS, then like if you have tested positive for HIV, then really you're just causing yourself a head trip. It's a disease that's probably in uh, some, it's not a, it's, it's a virus, it's a retrovirus, and it doesn't kill T cells. Retrovirus, they, they say that it does, they, they, but they don't have proof of it because they've never seen the virus in a T cell. They've never been able to locate it, or maybe they have recently. In one, and it, it, apparently it affects very, very few, like one in ten thousand, or one in every thousand T cells. And in order for a virus to kill, to wipe out your T cells, it has to kill half of them, at least, or maybe a little less, but definitely more than one in a thousand of them. So this retrovirus, which oh, now retroviruses also aren't don't kill cells. It, that's what, it didn't fit with this, this hypothesis that this retrovirus was killing these cells because retroviruses don't kill cells. They may infect them. May. They're like reactionary. So maybe if you wear your system down, they might get more active. But once the antibodies then are produced, you've created a resistance to the virus. When you test positive for antibodies for, uh, for the HIV virus and you get them, and they say that you're positive for the virus in your system, your body's already produced the antibodies to fight the virus. That's what they've found. Because the, vi the passenger virus was there, it was relatively it was relatively harmless and your body produced enough antibodies maybe you had the cold symptoms of the cold or the flu so then you become healthy you become safe from the HIV virus now the belief that the AIDS comes from that is the stretch that has never been directly proven ever within the scientific community but the industry made the claim in 1984 and they put, or I believe 84, or 83, 84, and they put all this money behind it, $40 billion, and it's greater than the money that they spent to put people into space, to land people on the moon, into this industry, this AIDS industry. There's so much money in this AIDS industry that people 
have opted to take a blind eye, the government and the media take a blind eye to other research on it and looking at why is there no direct relation, be, there's no proof that HIV causes this AIDS virus, this AIDS situation. It's a syndrome, it's, it's a syndrome that you go through, a, that you can go through, AIDS, autoimmune deficiency syndrome, and it's where the immune system just falls apart. And I believe it is caused by wearing out your body. Drugs, lack of sleep, stress, alcohol, dehydration. And when you push it hard, you can't, your immune system will just start to fucking malfunction. And when that happens, you can get a host of any, many diseases when your immune system is down and broken. It's not necessarily, it's not related to the sex and a transmission of a retrovirus. It is an immune deficiency that comes on when you fuck your body up, when you bang it up and when you wear it down. It, that is why there's no cure for it. Because it is just part of what we are. And we can all be healthy and not suffer. And when they give these drugs out, like AZT, that causes immune deficiency. It, it is hard on the body. There's got to be a re-examination. There doesn't got to be. There can be.